Uh, okay, so my next review is 40-Year-Old Virgin. I thought this is a pretty hilarious movie. It really uh, boosted Steve Carell's acting career. And the first review I have is by Roger Ebert, and he gives it three and a half stars out of five. And a good paragraph I like to take out is that it says, Andy is indeed a 40-year-old virgin after early defeats in his gender wars turned him into a non-combatant. His strategy for dealing with life is to surround himself with obsessions, including action figures, video, video games, high-tech equipment, and collectibles, a word which, like drinkable, never sounds like a glowing endorsement. I kind of like how he describes the movie. Um, and hold on. And I kind of like this paragraph. On the surface, the movie assembles a collection of ethnic types as varied as Crash. It has fun with them, but it likes them, and it and it's gentle fun that looks for humanity, not cheap laughs. Consider the character who unexpectedly performs a Guatemalan love song, or Nambi, or Andy's neighbors who like to watch Survivor with him, although he ha although he has to bring the set. The movie approaches the subject of homosexuality while without the usual gay bashing in a scene where guys trade one-liners beginning, I know you're gay because, and the reasons show more insight than prejudice. Which I completely get that. It's kind of a lighthearted movie. Um, it shouldn't really be taken seriously, obviously. And I kind of agree with everything you said. So, my next review is from Metacritic, and it gives it a 73 out of 100. And basically, they said it's basically one of the funniest movies. Um, one guy from the Baltimore Sun, Chris, can't read his name. Oh, okay. But it says the funniest movie in two years. Steve Carell is the new Steve Martin. He can just stand in place and cause one to chuckle. Although the male friends in this movie appear as adult adolescents, there is enough truth in their characters to reveal sorry socialization. Which I completely agree. And I think this movie is very funny. It has a lot of sexual references in it, but it's kind of all lighthearted again, as I said, but still a great movie. 40-Year-Old Virgin.